flies, ants, mosquitoes, wasps, cockroaches. Welcome to One Minute Bugs. G'day there. The introduction showed a few insects that people are either afraid of or are disgusted by. Why do these insects cause such a reaction? We'll get into that a little bit later, but first, let's have a look at some facts about these insects. There are about seven and a half thousand species of flies in Australia, and only a few are pests. There's the obvious ones like the, uh, the fruit flies, um, some leaf mining flies, uh, some of the domestic flies, you know, that get in your houses and possibly spread disease, um, and some of the biting flies, uh, such as sand flies or, or biting midges. Other flies just simply annoy people, especially blowflies. Well, actually there is a pest, blowfly, and that's the Australian sheep blowfly. But that's one species. The rest of them are beneficial insects. Blowfly larvae break down the carcasses of dead animals, and so they're part of the decomposition cycle. And adult blowflies are fantastic pollinators. They pick up pollen easily because they are bristly. There are a couple of thousand species of ants found in Australia, and nearly all the pest species have been introduced from somewhere else. For example, the Argentine ant, or the uh, red imported fire ant. A few native species, such as jumping jack ants, have a very nasty sting and some people are allergic to it. Those ants occur here, where I live, and I just avoid their nests as much as possible. Ants are really important in the environment. In fact, some ecologists call ants ecosystem engineers. Ants are awesome. I'll have to make some videos about ants at some stage. Mosquitoes are a major concern because some species carry pathogens which can cause disease in humans. There are about 300 species of mosquitoes found in Australia and some of them do transmit diseases. Luckily we don't have malaria here, but there are viruses such as um, dengue and encephalitis and Ross River and a few others that can be spread by mosquitoes. Not all mosquitoes are pests, and all species play some role in the environment. Mosquitoes are food for other animals, um, insectivorous birds and bats and fish and so forth, and other insects like um, dragonflies and damselflies. Wasps are a much misunderstood group of insects. Mention the word wasp, and most Australians will think of a paper wasp, either a native species or a European wasp, because they sting. There are about 10,000 species of wasps found in Australia, and they are nearly all beneficial insects. That includes native paper wasps. They feed caterpillars to their young, after all. European wasps are introduced and are definitely pests. Some cockroaches are domestic pests, but what you need to know is all the pest species have been introduced to Australia from somewhere else. Cockroaches are notorious for getting in your food cupboards and so forth, but native species will not do that. More than 500 species of native cockroaches have been identified in Australia so far. They are really important in the environment, either as food for other animals or as part of the decomposition cycle. Now to the fear of insects. Researchers believe that humans have evolved that way so that they can avoid potentially dangerous encounters with insects, especially venomous ones. So in other words, it's a defense mechanism, but there is no need to fear all insects. Disgust is another reaction we have when we see certain insects, such as cockroaches and you know, houseflies and so forth, because they, they are attracted to the food that we eat. And remember that only a few species are pests, not all of them. With mosquitoes, there's no need to fear them, just avoid them, especially if you do live in an area 
where a, um, a virus may be transmitted by them. I guess be alert, not alarmed. I've been at great pains here to point out that the pest species and other insects that we need to be wary of are in a minority. If you are interested in why there are so many species of ants and wasps and flies, check this video out here. It's really worth watching. It's even got a dinosaur in it. Thanks for watching.